Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so I was asked to do a video on ODR, or the order dissatisfaction rate on Etsy. I actually just found out about this yesterday, and um, I'm do do doing a little digging on what it is. Apparently a lot of y'all have received emails um, that your ODR is a little too low, um, and that you get a warning from Etsy that, you know, something scary could happen, like your shop could get shut down. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty scary, um, and you know I looked mine up, and mine's not perfect. Um, I'm gonna go into details on what mine is and why mine's not perfect um, in a second. But you know, I we're all human, so I wouldn't expect it to be perfect, um, at least not forever for anybody. But um, I, I do think this is a good thing that Etsy's doing. It helps keep Etsy as a whole trustworthy. You know, if if uh, most shops are keep you know have pretty low satisfaction ratings. You don't want your customers to associate bad things with Etsy and thus associate bad things with you and your shop. Um, so I do think this is a good thing that Etsy's doing. Unfortunately, if you're a small shop and you've had less than 100 orders, it only takes one bad experience to get yourself over that 1% threshold that um, Etsy's talking about um, in order for the 1% uh, the low satisfaction threshold. So that means for every 1% means for every 100 orders, you have to, or for every 100 orders, you cannot have more than one bad experience. Um, so that's that's a lot. So here, we're gonna go and dive into mine over here. Um, so as you see, I have 0.3%, and I'm guessing it's green because I'm in, in the clear. Uh, maybe it turns, y'all can tell me, maybe it turns yellow or orange if it goes higher. Um, so this is a pretty high sample size. I have, I'm a, I'm a high volume shop, so I, this is over, their period, I guess it's 60 days, or here, here, yeah, it looks like 60 days. Um, I've done 4,600 orders, and 14 of them, only 14 out of 4,600 got me to 0.3%. So if I got to 45, which isn't that much more, I'm getting pretty close to that 1%. Um, as you can see, I've had two cases and 12 low reviews. Um, and, you know, a, ca a case, it doesn't matter if it ends in your favor, um, if a case is opened, that's going to hurt you or anything that's two stars or lower is going to hurt you. Um, and I, I debated not showing you guys this, but this is pretty much public information anyways. The cases aren't, but I'm going to go ahead and show y'all because I'm sure you're curious, you know, what kind of things happen in a big shop and you're, you'll probably be surprised to know it's the exact same things that happen in small shops. Um, we do make mistakes. We're like, like I said, we're human. So, um, so it looks like in both of my cases, the item was not delivered. Um, generally what we do is the customer will open up a case, and that's the first time we've heard about it. Um, they, you know, don't reach out to us. They just immediately open up a case, and then we um, will reach out to them and send a replacement if it looks like everything it wasn't a scam. Um, a scam is another thing. We'll, we'll go over. I have some videos on scams, um, and sometimes I won't budge. You know, if it looks like it was marked as delivered, um, and the customer says it wasn't delivered, for example, we don't send it out. Um, that even in some cases the customer might be telling the truth. I have no way of knowing, so I unfortunately have to stick to a kind of conservative policy there. Um, so that could be, who knows what, um, I'm not gonna go actually into the cases because it'll you know, take all day, but. And then we also have 12 low reviews that have um, affected our ODR. So like I said, I mean, this might make our shop look kind of bad, but this is only 14 out of 4,600, so I think we're doing pretty good. But like I said, we're human and we make mistakes. Um, so it looks like I've sent the wrong size to a, a couple customers. Um, some people just aren't happy with the, the gemstones, um, looks better in the picture, um, things like that. So, you know, I, like I said, these are all public. Y'all can read these any, anyways. Um, but we do have some bad reviews. And in most, some of these cases, I did make a mistake and we will reach out to them. We'll do what we can to fix it. You can't ask your customer to change the review, so you just kind of have to live with them, keeping the bad review, even though maybe you did fix the problem. Sometimes there's nothing I can do to make them happy, except for just offer them, um, let them return it for a refund. Um, and if I did make a mistake, if I sent them a defective ring, um, I won't make them send it back. I'll just, you know, give them a refund and apologize. But um, generally, I think we're pretty good about not doing that. But it does sometimes things slip through the cracks, especially this is dur this is during our holiday season. Um, this is over Christmas and, and Hanukkah and all of that. So we s were sending such high volumes of stuff that I would be shocked if we didn't have things slip through the cracks just because we were, ah, you know, crazy, <laughs> crazy the whole time anyways. But anyways, so a lot of y'all might be asking, okay, my, uh, how do I improve my ODR? I, you know, if you're at 0.3%, 
I mean, do what you can to try to, like, talk to these people and, you know, help improve, you know, at least your relationship with these individual customers. But this isn't that bad. Um, I wouldn't stress if you're at 0.3%, if you're in the green. Um, if you're at, like, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, and you're kind of, like, teetering right there on the threshold, um, I would definitely look into some of the things that um, Etsy recommends. I'm not going to go into everything because customer service is, it, I mean, I could do a whole video series on it. Um, but I'll post these links for y'all to do a little bit of research. Um, Etsy has all of these pages on their blog, you know, uh, beginner's guide to great customer service is a great place to start. I'm sure, sorry guys, my GoPro died. Um, I apologize about that. I was rambling a little bit anyways, so it's probably good to wrap things up. Um, so anyways, I'm going to post link, the hidden link, um, to your ODR stats in the uh, description below. Um, you cannot navigate to this on your own unless they send you a warning email. So um, that link is going to be very important. I will also post a link to how to improve all of the Etsy blogs and all of that stuff to how to improve your ODR. Um, and this is just good stuff to follow anyways. And if you guys want me to make a video on how I do good customer service, let me know in the comments below. And as always, please subscribe. Um, I'm always coming out with new videos and your subscriptions help me keep going. So thanks again. Bye guys.